Hi there. This episode here, this segment, is for Love's Creation Unlimited. Unlimited. Love's? Love's Creation Unlimited. My channel. Today I got inspired to, to, to do this segment very briefly, very, very out there, yes. Uh, it's to do with grapes. And in case you didn't know, my name is Maria Arvantides, Reverend, what have you. I'm here present. I want to make this statement very clearly, is that grapes, if you notice, Nowhere do you find organic grapes. They, they're either seedless or mostly, most of the time, it's the red globe, uh, red grapes, right? The, the red grapes, and they're, they're with the seeds. And they're seeded. They're called seeded grapes. <laughs> they have them. But most of the time, the red, the red, the, the red globe grapes, and I have it off oh, in the Tupperware. I just spilt it. What I do is, um, yeah, I'm going to get some, uh, didn't prepare for this. <laughs> I'm going to get some paper towels here, which I will do right now. And interestingly enough, what I do is I get the Red Globe. They're the only ones available that are with seeds. And there's maybe another brand that's the dark grapes. For some reason, just like red cabbage and everything else that's dark, including onions and everything else, is more expensive. And they did catch on. I don't know why, but it's something that I already knew from previous years before they caught on that for some odd reason, the darker... Uh, fruits and vegetables are much, much healthier. Um, they help with longevity of life and everything like that for some reason. I guess it's more to do with food for the soul. I have no idea. But uh, here it is. I just spilt some. What I do is I get distilled water. And I put it in... Okay, so right now I'm using, I make do with whatever I have available, which I have a lot. It's just that uh, downsizing is made me with less space, and it's more like a storage area, which I'm now making more room for uh, this thing called skipping. I went and got a skipping rope, and now I have to make space for that too, because I noticed there's not even enough space to skip in here. And so, enough said with that. I do have more than enough space for one person here. It's just that all the things that were passed on from, I guess, my lineage or whatever this crap is that needs to be cleared out. And so I'm making do of what I have right here right now. And this is the my Tupper where it's called. It's no good. I know for all of you greeners out there, but... Tupperware is no good and so but it doesn't matter you don't as long as you don't keep it in long enough into these things and um, Same with keeping oil in plastic never buy oil in plastic If you can buy it in uh, glass better yet glass is better than the uh, metal uh, For now we're dealing with these grapes these grapes, red globe grapes, going into four minutes. <laughs> and so I take them, I bought like, okay, so they were $3 a pound, and I must have probably roughly two pounds I must have bought because that's what it was in a bag, and you can't mix them or match them because they're already pre-planned inside, and they have an elastic in it, and you can't... Like, this is how the Asians have it prepackaged already, and you have to take it. Okay, so it was roughly two pounds. I was looking at, uh, yeah, I, I paid eight dollars for these grapes. <laughs> these grapes, and so Canadian, so it's not worth much, right? For all you other folk out there, and so 
what it is is I put it in distilled water and I clean them and I let them in here soak and then they what they do in this distilled water is they they perk up I don't know if you know about this thing called turgor pressure they have cell walls mostly vegetables but fruits do too and everything else it just kind of explodes expands into the fullest capacity of the juiciness and everything else so this is seeded you, rem you, you just cut this in half like this and you remove you do it for yourself you don't have to do it you don't have to have a partner to do this for okay you do this for yourself you just love on yourself if you're doing it for someone else you have to be extra clean and all these things and especially if they're not your partner <laughs> so, and you gotta make sure that the, the more uh, less bonded you are, let's say, with that person or you're not as, as connected, the more hygienic you have to be and the more clean you have to be and make sure that everything is in, in proper hygiene, uh, you know, quality. And so it doesn't matter, but I also use some Gouda, you know, big deal. It, this is not about the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's really not about the cheese for you vegans out there what it, it is about is if you're gonna get organic grapes you get the seeded kind and I realized that they're more expensive and so when they mean seeded it means organic and so the ones that aren't seeded the MGO ones they, you'll still see the daughter and the mother cell, you know, um, they clone, they replicate themselves. And, and then you can see that string and go from one end to the other. And you will still have that connecting, reproductive replicating thing within the grape regardless of whether it's seedless or seeded it's just that the seedless ones are harder to remove the seeds because they're not as mature and they're little ones and they're even the the extension of the daughter and mother's um what do you call it splitting and and creating these seeds so that they can create more grapes and so this is what happens and and it's so much harder to remove this is as clean as you're gonna get and no there's no string there's no connecting to the mother daughter connecting to where and then they produce the seed so this is these are true organic seedless grapes <laughs> I'm not going to get into the biology or the science of it all. You can always look it up, how grapes, it's I think grade, grade 9 science, biology or something like that. And you can get into it further. And this is how they were able to genetically modify because it's so simple to do it with grapes. And it's not just changing the color to make them darker or anything like that. It's just simply, simply just removing this just removing cleaning it nice cleaning the skin make sure it's nice and clean because it's been so handled by others and this is how how these bacteria and viruses and all these other germs that we already have natural bioflora it's just that when we haven't integrated in the way of human connection and, and bonding and contact on a more intimate level with others, that these foreign bioflora from other people create these things. And for, for instance, it's very important to have uh, bacteria and natural bioflora and, and to help the body break down once <clears throat> it's no longer breathing and so from there the decomposition takes over and it's very helpful to break things down and create soil and what have you else 
that it's just a recycling and it's a bridge to that recycling and these they don't have nucleuses so they're like prions and and protein particles in the air that are something that we have to integrate that we haven't amongst each other as a human and perhaps other species as well that we live mammals and other non-mammals that we haven't quite on an intimate level connected enough that perhaps when we do get too close that's why we have this social distancing anyway that's another thing altogether and so this is why we create serums and um, inoculate ourselves with uh, the antigens I'm thinking vaccines <laughs> I'm gonna get too scientific here and so it's just something that I'm just putting out here and it has absolutely nothing to do with grapes but yet again it might be connected with the grapes so here we are seedless red globe Grapes. Organic. <laughs> and I have a little bit more to show that if I do, what happens is I end up spilling water all over the place. And so basically, woo, you take this grape and you open it up and you see the little seeds in there, right? And you just remove them, right? And then you have this beautiful delish and might I say you do the same with tomatoes well that's another note anyway so this is very helpful but maybe it's too posh maybe it's too elitism or something <laughs> and I really enjoyed sharing this moment with everybody and I hope that you enjoy this segment on my channel Love's Creation Unlimited. Bye bye now. Thank you so very much. Please comment if you have any opinions you want to share so we can further expand on this and anything you have that needs answering feel free to comment down below. <laughs>